Greetings, everyone. Brudix here to talk today about my experience with Tales of Fantasia as part of the RP Galooza series. I originally tried out Tales of Fantasia around 15 years ago and was incredibly disappointed with it. I don't recall making it very far into the game as there was just way too many things that caused me to struggle through the game, and so I gave up pretty early on. I tried it out again when it came out on the Game Boy Advance, and I remember having a lot of the same issues with it then as well. For some reason the game was just incredibly hard for me and was nothing but a constant frustrating struggle. Many years later, as I've grown older and wiser through my gaming experiences, I decided to give it another go and this time it really wasn't all that bad. In fact, I was really more confused about whatever it was that I struggled with in the game to begin with. It wasn't horribly hard for the most part. I think I must have just not realized you could turn spells off or the concept of leveling just never really occurred to me. Either way, my experience through the game for RP Galooza was a fairly enjoyable one. It wasn't anything amazing, and there were definitely a few really annoying areas to work through, but for the most part I never felt like rage quitting the game or quitting out of boredom. So I'd say overall I enjoyed the experience. Having said that though, I still give the game a 2 out of 5 for RP Galooza. There was a lot about the game that was pretty plain and generic. The story wasn't super gripping. I never really felt like I was being thrown through a bunch of plot twists as with many of the other Tales games. The battles were pretty archaic feeling, and while I still enjoyed doing them, they did kind of drag on after a while. The encounter rate was pretty high by today's standards, but then again the game is over 20 years old at this point and it definitely shows. I wouldn't go so far to say that it hasn't aged very well, but you can definitely tell what time period the game was from. So even though I had a pretty chill time going through the game, it just never hooked me in enough that I felt like it really needed a higher score. I'm glad I played through it, but only because of the fact that I had let it defeat me in the past. So I had more of a personal reason for playing through the game that really wouldn't cause me to want to suggest the game to someone else. While it was definitely not a bad game, it just didn't have anything really special to it at all. Thanks for watching the video everyone! If you liked what you saw or just want to keep up with the RP Galooza series, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out my Twitch TV channel as I play through the games live at twitch.tv slash rudix. Take care everyone, and until next time, happy gaming!